Yeah, this movie is so... I saw this movie when it came out and thought, Jesus, this is amazing, and look at this about show business, and what a great world to be in, and how unbelievably romantic it was, and unbelievably, like, you know, everything in it is incredibly sexy, even his death is incredibly sexy, Roy Scheider's death. And so that was my takeaway of it when I was, I don't know, 13 or 14 when it came out. And now I, I happened to watch it recently, and it's just terrifying to watch it as a middle-aged man. It's absolutely terrifying because nothing is romantic. And the death, you're like, you also feel like you're having a heart attack when you're watching the movie. Like your left arm starts really hurting and you're like, oh, God, this is it. This is a cool... Oh, wow, The Vanishing. Um, I feel like I'm in this corner too much. Um, I feel also, by the way, if left here alone or even with you guys, I would just gut this place. Dazed and confused. I take it, but I've seen it like 10,000 times. I think it actually got banned in my house by my wife once. Something that, that is that I have a real habit of doing now, um, my friend Matt Ross, who's an actor and a director now, t has a habit that I've stolen, which is um, listening to commentary tracks. Because the stuff... But, the assumption is you've seen a film so many times that you now are listening to the commentary tracks, but you don't actually have to watch the film. It's good to have the commentary track on while you're cooking or something. And I find it really fun. Because you can stop, you know, and put the onion down and go back and watch when they get to a part that is really, you know, important. Like, how did they do that or whatever. But I find that com sometimes just a commentary track by itself is a completely satisfying evening. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> Whoever in art decided to do that deserves, you know, an award. That's really good for video drum. Oh, this is such a fantastic movie. Friends of Eddie Coyle. This is, this is just, it's one of these movies, Peter Yates directed it, but it's one of these films that you, you can sit and watch it, and if someone is watching it with you and they aren't completely paying attention, the movie will end and they will have no idea what the film's about. This, by the way, I know has an amazing commentary track. You can um, cook a fine, fine spaghetti sauce in the time it takes to listen to that. Pick Up on South Street is just a spectacular movie. And you guys did a great, I have your version of it. It's fantastic. It's just great. Oh, Night Train to Munich. This is a Carol Reed film that I've, you know, I think it, it's on TCM apparently, but I keep missing it. I had a request. My wife knew I was coming. Uh, of contempt. She said, she, she said, uh, God, the, the, you know, when you see that marriage falling apart and they, they don't even really talk about how it's falling apart, but you can just watch it falling apart. And she really held forth on this. And I was like, what? Is there something we need to talk about? You really care about contempt or is there something else we need to chat about? She's like, no, I just can't watch Contempt. I'm like, okay, great. Where is Contempt? Did you guys have that one? It's, it's out of print. <laughs> ah, but, ah, Linda, take but. that. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah. 22 years of marriage and we're still going strong. No Contempt for you. I can't. We're done. I can't. <laughs> All right. I'm great. in the closet. I mean, you know, this just looks bad. Don't put in frame how many there are. Just keep it. <laughs> of all the places to die, this would be the best.